Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Tiger and I post Animal Crossing content here on YouTube and on Instagram and Twitter. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you would like to see more of that. I also have all of my socials in the description if you would like to follow me on other platforms. Today we are going to create an apple orchard and cider stand here on my town core island of Sedona. This is a part of my Let's Play series. I've linked the playlist below so be sure to catch up if you haven't seen previous episodes. My island's native fruit is apples, so I really wanted to incorporate them into my island design somehow. I love the bright red color, and for some reason it just feels nostalgic, and small towns usually have a lot of agriculture and farms, so I thought that this would be fitting for my island. I have never built an orchard on any of my islands before, which is kind of strange because I feel like it's a really common build, but anyways, I was really excited to build my first one. I started by laying down a small portion of my street path and a fence along the edge of the river. I used the straw fence and hedge fence alternating which gave a really nice farmy look. This build is right against the beach too and I was thinking of maybe building a beachside restaurant or something on the sand below this. The pier is also right down there so I think it would be really cool. There's also a villager house over here. You may see it in this video but I will be moving that later so no homes will be over here in this area. Anyways, I added a few rows of apple trees. I kept it pretty small because I wanted to go for a more cozy feel and also I was not trying to take up too much space on my island with this build, which didn't really work out anyways because I ended up going a little bit overboard and making this a lot bigger than originally planned. I used the light dirt pathway to make a path going through the orchard and through the rows of trees. I didn't want to use my street path here since this is obviously a more farm space and it would just look weird. I covered the path with leaf designs to make it look more realistic and overgrown, kind of like all the trees were shedding their leaves down onto the path below. I want to go back and add some leaf piles here later, but I was just too lazy to make any for this video. At the entrance to the orchard, I wanted to keep things simple but also make it obvious that this is in fact an apple farm. I used farm-like items like the garden faucet and hay bed and also added a little red stall where maybe you could buy some apples or buy tickets to enter into the orchard. I tried to find a red version of every item I used in this build to really bring out that apple red color. I also used a lot of the cardboard boxes with apple designs on them to signify that this was an apple orchard. I love how red this build turned out. It really pops out at you and everything ended up matching so well. It was so satisfying to see all the red items together. Like it just, it looks so, so pleasing to the eye. I went along the path here and added a bunch of items to make it look like the apple orchard was in action. Like someone was recently out here picking apples and doing work. I added a hand cart, of course, making sure that it was red. I also put a ladder so it seems like someone was maybe climbing up the trees to pick apples. Now that the main part of the orchard was done, it was time to start constructing the apple cider stand. I used this brick pathway to create a space for the stand, and I chose this path because of the dark browns. I think it adds a level of coziness. I also love how this design isn't just square. It makes an interesting shape and brings a ton of detail to the build. Oh, and I also put a silo back here behind the trees with a red roof, which I love. I think it looks so good. For the 
cider stand, I decided to go the extra mile and use loft beds and simple panels to create a little building. I got this idea entirely from Poppy Pier Crossing, who also made some of the design codes I used in this build. If you want to check out her socials, I will link them down below as well as all of the design codes I used in this build and just all of the design codes I've used on my island so far. To create this building, all you need is a few simple panels and two loft beds. Basically, you use the panels to cover up the features of the loft bed that makes it look like a bed, so it kind of tricks you into thinking that it looks like a building instead. I was kind of nervous to use these beds because they don't come in a darker brown variation and I was afraid the lighter tones wouldn't match the build, but I think it looks really nice and it does add some more color. You can also place items inside of the loft beds on top of the little shelf, which is pretty cool. I put a little apple crate and also a mug, so it just adds a little touch of detail and it looks really, really awesome. I continued to place items that I thought would fit well and also created a seating space for people visiting the orchard and so they could have a little place to enjoy their cider or apple juice or whatever they're having. Julian was in my way so I couldn't place the second chair here until the end of the video. I tried to use items that felt cozy and comfy and I think I did a pretty good job because this build feels so snug and I would just love to come hang out here with a book and have some apple cider. I finished up the build by adding some trees and shrubbery around and behind the cider stand. I don't want this building to be accessible from the back, so I made sure to block off any empty spaces with some form of nature. Now we were finally ready to take the final walkthrough of our apple orchard. I am so excited. I time traveled so that all the apples would be grown on the trees and it looks so, so gorgeous. Here is the entrance here with the little stall and the bench and then you can walk through the rows of trees. Lots of cute items everywhere that are red. And then of course we have the cider stand at the back here, which I think looks so, so good. It's so warm and so cozy it reminds me of fall so it's just such a nice vibe here i would love to come visit this in real life i think it looks gorgeous i'm really proud of all the red items too i think it matches so well i even put a marketplace decoration from the pocket camp items back here which was kind of a random idea but i think it looks so good it really matches everything and overall i'm just super proud of this build i really hope that you guys like it it's my first time building an orchard in Animal Crossing and I think it turned out pretty freaking good. I am so happy with it and I think the apple cider stand just fits the vibe of my island so well. I really hope that you've all enjoyed this build here on Sedona today. If you did, be sure to like this video and subscribe. It would help me out so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the greatest day or greatest night. Don't forget to comment down below and tell me about your orchard if you have one on your island. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!